Hey everyone, it's Hannah with HR Partner and next I'm going to show you how you can log into the system as an employee and do things like submit leave requests, view company news, and more. So the first step is to find your employee login. So this should have been emailed to you and if you didn't receive an email with your login, you'll want to contact your manager. Now if you've just forgotten your login, that's no problem. On the employee login screen, you can just click forgot your password and you'll be emailed your information. So in most cases, your username will just be your email address, so fairly simple. And after you click login, you'll be taken to your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you'll be able to easily see things like your leave balance and how much vacation time you have left. You'll also be able to see things like your recent performance reviews in training. This is also an awesome place to see the status of your leave request and whether or not your manager has approved your time off request. So I'll just take you through a quick tour and then I'll go more in depth with each section. So the profile section is where you'll see your contact information and your current address. So one thing you'll want to do is add a primary contact address and what this does is it basically shows your manager or anyone in HR where you can be contacted and what's the easiest method to contact you. There's also the option here if you want to add your contact details to the public employee directory. And this just means that your coworkers will have an easy way to get in touch with you. But if you don't want your other coworkers to see this contact method, you can just leave this unchecked. Then hit save. If you haven't already uploaded your profile photo, now's a good time to do so. Just click this avatar and then you'll be able to upload it from your computer. All right, so next I'm going to show you the directory. You can find it here on the left hand menu. And after you've clicked that, you can see a list of all the employees in your company. You'll also be able to see their department, position, and location. And if they've decided to add a contact method for visibility, you'll be able to see it right here. Um, if you quickly need their email address or phone number or anything else and they've decided to mark it public to the company. Next, I'll show you the org chart. So yeah, you just click this on the left hand menu and you'll see automatically an organizational chart of your entire company. If you don't see an org chart, it just means that it hasn't been added yet. You can easily toggle this button here on the right to see a vertical chart to make things easier if you have a large company. This is super useful if you want to see who's in what department and also a hierarchy chart. So moving on, if your company has timesheets enabled, and not every company does, but if yours does have timesheets enabled, you'll see a little button right here that says timesheets. So to start filling out your timesheets, what you do is click the green button here on the right. You find the day you want to submit your time. And then you select the start time and end time. You also want to make sure it's correct here where it says total hours to make sure that it looks right. You'll also have the ability to add any notes that you want your manager to see, say if you worked a partial day or anything else. Then for the next day, all you do is click next day. Make sure the date's right, add your start time and your end time, check the total hours, and add any additional notes you may have. So if you're done with your timesheets for the week, all you have to do is select tick if timesheet is complete and ready to be submitted for review, then click save. All right, so moving on, next I'll show you the news section. So this is a great place to go to check and see what's new with your company, and managers will be able to easily post updates for staff to see. You'll be able to view things like company updates, and you can even participate in polls. Next I'll show you the document library. So this is basically a place where you can go to view things like procedure manuals, employee handbooks, and more. Just click the category you want to see, and then you'll be able to click each individual document with the option to download it to your computer. Next, I'll show you the employee pin board. So this is basically a virtual equivalent to a bulletin board at your company. To post a new pin, just click add new pin and start typing in your message and click save. Then as you can see, every time somebody logs in from your company, they'll be able to see your pin on the board. All right, so next let's move on to leave requests. If you want to submit a time off request, just click the leave button here on the left. So as you can see here, this is an awesome place where you can view your leave balances so you can see how much time you have left. Once you're ready to request time off, just click this green button that says add leave request. 
where it says send application to, just select your manager or whoever will be approving your application. Select your leave type. If you aren't able to find your leave type, click other leave, but if you find it, just select whatever you want. You can add a short description of your leave request. After that, select the leave start date, so the first day you want off, and then select how many days you're requesting off. So in this case, I want four days off, and so I just typed in 4D. Once you hit submit, your leave request will be sent to your manager automatically and they'll be notified via email. So you'll want to double check the details and make sure everything's correct before you send it off. After that, click submit. Awesome, now you're done. So one thing to keep in mind is that once your manager accepts or denies your leave request, you'll be notified via email so you'll know right away what the response was. So right now the status of my request is submitted, but once it's been approved, it'll say approved and I'll be emailed. So the next thing I want to show you is the company calendar. So if you click the home button here on the left, you'll be taken to the dashboard. And if you scroll down, you'll find the company calendar. Here you'll be able to see things like company holidays so you easily know what days you have off. All right, cool, that's about it. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to email us directly at support at hrpartner.io.